Hello and welcome today to a video where you will learn to drive your own brushless motors, your own high speed 30 DC uh, volt DC motor using the RX 63T kit. First, you will understand how to configure the kit. You will see that this is a very flexible inverter which is able to drive up to 48 volt DC motor. You will learn and see how to use the auto tuning process by using a simple PC GUI without using any oscilloscope, but still having access to many, many software resources. And finally, how to tune the algorithm and tune the, the parameter to reach the highest speed you wish for, for your motor. You will see that the results we reach are very nice for both no load conditions and with load conditions. But let's have a look about the motor we will work and we will use today and um, this is a three-phase uh, motor without any encoder and all sensors permanent magnet using a neodymium uh, magnet the nominal voltage is 30 volt dc the no load speed is 43,000 rpm the nominal speed is 40,000 rpm maximum power is 100 watt no load current is 200 milliampere but the max current is 3.5 ampere peak i mean with high uh, load conditions which step will we follow the first one we'll prepare together the materials we will set up the software running on the rx 23t we will set up the jumper of the kit and connect everything and finally run both the auto calibration for the coefficients of the current pi and um, the process to identify automatically the three parameter of the motor. First, let's prepare the material. You need the 23 ticket, of course, the E1 debugger. Um, in terms of software, you need the e Square Studio. You need the motor control demo PC GUI installed of your PC. Also, the Y rotated RX 23T uh, embedded software. These types of software could be found on renesas.eu slash motor control. The motor, of course, and finally a power supply of 30 volt, which can deliver up to 2 to 3 ampere. Let's move on to the final steps, which is basically preparing the embedded software running on the RX 23T. Before doing this, the first thing is to supply the power to the kit via the USB to plug the E1 debugger to the board, launch the Square Studio and import the complete RX 23T project source code. We will disable the flux weakening in order to, uh, to achieve the maximum speed at the maximum current we want. We will build the project, of course, launch the debugger and load the program into the flash of the MCU thanks to the E1. The first step is basically to connect the power supply to the board using the USB cable. So the board is basically powered with the USB. And after that, to connect the E1 debugger directly onto the board and check the status of the LED. After that, you basically need to launch the e -square Studio. We will import the software into Square Studio. I just stored it on his desktop. And I would like to ask you to open the source folder and open the customize.h file. In the file, if you go to the button, I'd like to ask you to disable the flux weakening. It's a line 167. In order to ensure we can reach the maximum speed of the motor. After that, you can build the project And finally, you can run the debugger to 
program the software into the flash of the microcontroller. During this, you can check the status of the LED on the E1 debugger. When it's finished, you can remove the E1 debugger easily. Finally, we just need to set up the jumper of the kit, which is pretty simple on this example because we will use, we will move the GP1 and GP2 to the position one to three in order to enable the use of external power supply, the 30 volt DC, and to ensure that the USB um, communication is fully isolated. The other jumper, GP10 to GP16, are remain unchanged. Uh, as they are by default set um, in order to use the onboard MOSFETs power stage. Finally, the last three steps to follow are first to run the intuitive PC GUI and enter the known parameters of the system and of the motor. Second, to launch the automatic current PI tuning to find KPKI and launch the motor identification to find the motor resistance, the inductance, and of course the flux uh, permanent magnet. And finally, to do some tests at different speeds and adapt the speed PI coefficients if it's needed. Launch the PC GUI, connect the RX23T board, and the first thing we will do is we will launch the parameter settings and start from a very clean um, setup. We will enter 33 in the first line, right, click right, and reset the hardware board. We can close and open again. And normally we will start with the default one. The next step is to enter the parameter we know of the motor and of the application. So the minimum speed in this case is 3000 RPM. Maximum speed will be 30,000 RPM. The acceleration and deceleration ramps will be 5000 RPM per second, one polar couple. We will set up the startup current at 600 milliampere and the maximum current to um, 2 ampere in this case. The five parameters that we will find automatically are set to zero. And we can check in the bottom at which frequency we work. In this case, it's 8 kilohertz control loop and 16 kilohertz PWM. Let's run the PI um, automatic tuning to find KP and KI automatically. So we found quite low value, 7 and 51, and the idea is basically to, to check if we can get better value by increasing the maximum current. I, I set it up to 3 ampere, and I run again the KPKI auto tuning, so 7 and 51. The new values that we get is 7 and 47, it's just showing us that <clears throat> maybe the parameters are a bit high and that we need to, to reduce them. So I test with some low step here, we can, we can see that th there is really a high frequency. Uh, so Ke must be reduced and Kp also is much, much, much too high. So I'm, I'm trying here several values and we can find some acceptable value in uh, yeah close to three to four. It's an iterative process in this case, as you can see.
I'm tested three and ten and trying to increase the current and finally the three for KP and seven for KE are a good compromise. Now let's run the motor identification process where uh, we will we'll find automatically the stator resistance, the synchronous inductance and the flux permanent magnet. Normally the motor is starting to run a little bit. It's a good sign. So we found a value of uh, 1 to 2 ohms and 0 Weber. We can do it again to check. We will start by giving 1.5 times the minimum speed, something like 4500 RPM. So it looks okay. We are running at 31 volts. And step by step, we will try to increase the speed. We also need to check um, that everything is working fine. When we increase the speed again by looking at the phase we can see a lot of instability so we could <coughs> play with uh, a couple of parameters and we will uh, select the flux feedback gain which is supposed to um, to ensure a higher stability it's the gain which is used by the flux estimator so by increasing the value for the high speed motor uh, we can increase the stability it looks a little bit better, so let's carry on uh, increasing the speed and check how the, the motor is reacting. We'll give some steps unt until 10,000 RPM and the idea is to reach higher speed. These motors are made to reach high speed, so more than 10,000 RPM, 20,000 RPM, and so on. By checking the phase and the current, we can see still some in, uh, instability, depending on the speed at the end of the day. The current is increasing a lot at the moment. Yeah, And finally, when we reach the 30,000 RPM, we are below one ampere, and the phase is, is very stable and the current also. Let's recap. Simply by using the RX23T kit plus the E1 debugger, the E Square Studio and the PC GUI, you can run your low voltage and high speed motor. Within only 15 minutes, you can reach up to 30,000 RPM with load and without any load. So just to conclude, the auto tuning 
system and process running on the RX 23T allow you to drive any types of uh, three-phase permanent magnet motor. So feel free to get your own kit on the renaissanceshops.com and download the complete material of the kit on the renaissance.eu slash motor control. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.